Oh, what's up, YouTube? ODST General back again. And uh, today we're going to be doing another tutorial video. This time it is to install the U.S. Army modification. Uh, the current version is 0.6, and this was submitted back in 2013, so don't expect an update anytime soon. Uh, now, I know my last tutorial didn't get super well received, but this one was requested by a few different people at this point, so I decided to go ahead and do it. Um, with the last request from Military Monk just earlier today. Um, going through it, the first thing you guys are going to need to do is, of course, go online and download the mod. Now, you can find the mod at emergencyplanet.com and just search Emergency for U.S. Army Mod and it will pop up pretty quick. Now, when you go to download this, you will need to sign in up here. I'm not signed in right now, but you'll need to sign in in order to actually download it. Um, I actually went ahead and downloaded it already just for expediency's sake. So from that point you're going to need to go into your Steam folder. Um, in my case it's on my D drive. For you guys it's most likely going to be your C drive. So it's going to look something like C drive, Steam, Steam apps, your comment folder, 911 first responders, and then mods. So we'll go back actually to 911 first responders and you're going to see something like this is what you should see. Go in your mods. As you can see I've already got the US Army mod installed. Now what you'll notice though is that with the exception of the London mod all of my other mods are in folders but the US Army mod download file isn't. It's actually just like the London mod here and I don't know why this didn't get rid of this actual file. Okay, you know, I guess it does just keep those files, but it doesn't come with this folder, and this is the folder that you need to actually play the mod. So, you get this by going back out to this main thing. So you put that folder into your mods file, and you go mod installer. It's going to start up an application for it, and I'm going to... Oh, perfect. Okay, so I'll capture it. And it's... Um, It'll show you a list of your mods currently installed. It gives you the option to uninstall them or make them packaged. You're going to install a package. Um, this will open up a new folder. It's already in my 911 first responders main directory. We're just going to go into the subfolder for mods. Um, here you should have moved your US Army modification into your mods folder. And all you have to do, double click it. Um, now it is stopping me from actually carrying this out just because I do already have it installed. Um, at this point you guys should actually have it installing the folder and then once that folder is set to go and it looks like this with this US Army mod, uh, US Army mod folder and it's got all these files in here then you should be set to go. You should be able to just load the game up here and uh, I'm going to actually just switch over and show you guys what you should be seeing if you're doing the US Army modification. I really should have loaded this beforehand, but I didn't really think I was going to do that. Um, so we're just going to load this up real quick, and you guys are going to hang out on the desktop while I get this going. It's going to take a minute to load because i got a few different things running here. Um, so we're going to switch to game capture, and we're going to switch this from GTA 5 to US Army modification because it's been a little bit since I've apparently recorded anything. Actually, try moving this over here. I got to rearrange things now, and it's actually not capturing at all. Hmm. Probably because I'm in the wrong thing. Well, that would do it. It really would. Okay, now that you guys are actually with me, we're going to go to modifications, and you should see the US Army mod somewhere in your list. Mine's near the bottom, uh, down with the USSR mod. It does go, I do believe, yeah, it goes in alphabetical order, so. You go and you activate the US Army mod. Now this takes a little bit. It depends on how strong your computer is too. Um, I noticed on my current build some mods install or uh, well I shouldn't say install but they activate really fast. Others take longer. Um, 
But on my old computer, I had to wait like 15 minutes for the uh, Bureau of Brooklyn mod to go through, and it's much quicker. So you're going to have a number of options. You're going to have your free play, which is what you normally play on most mods. In this case, with the U.S. Army mod, you're going to the campaign, and you'll just see one mission. And this is all it is. It's just this one mission. You load up, you play, and you're set to go. And you load, you have your uh, U.S. Army mod background, you get the music and all that stuff. And if you have this, you're working fine, you should be set to go. Um, if you guys have any more questions on this, feel free to keep asking. I'll keep uh, answering as best I can and trying to troubleshoot what I can for you guys. Um, obviously, with a lot of these mods and stuff, I you guys know it's just as well as I do. I mean, I didn't create any of this content I play. Uh, for the most part, I, there's probably like one or two things that I've actually made my own stuff for, but it's not even like full things. It's just like texture mods and stuff like that where I'll sneak them in. But uh, yeah, that's how you guys install the U.S. Army mod. Now, if you guys will excuse me, we've got to go kill a bunch of innocent protesters.